Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Rachel Ray. Today, I wanted to show you a new diamond painting tool that I have seen uh, online before. Uh, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee has actually unboxed this and shown how to use it, but I haven't watched that video because I knew that this was in the mail. So finally, mine arrived today. Uh, it took a while to get here. I'll put the details here on the screen somewhere, but uh, I got this from AliExpress and I'm super excited to see what it's like and how we're going to use it. So let's get digging. It wasn't very expensive. I don't remember where I saw it actually. I saw, I saw it in a video somewhere and I was like, oh my God, I got to get one. Ooh. Okay. So it came wrapped like so. This is going to be sharp as you know what. Okay. Cool. So um, <laughs> let's get this out somehow. Just go ahead. Ow. <laughs> Stab myself. Typical. Okay. Okay. So it's nice of them to, to wrap it like that. I was going to say, I don't know how they kept it so flat. Um, so I was wondering that. How did it not bend in the mail? Genius. Be very careful pulling this out now because, well, that works too. So here we have it. I do not know what that says. I may Google translate that and see. Can you see that? So basically this is for round drills and you place this down on the canvas, I'm assuming, and that way you'll get straight lines every time. Now I know from pictures that Mrs. Crochet and Coffee was able to line it up on a full drill painting, but I think this would be really, really handy on partials as well. And I have a partial that I'd like to try it out on. So I'm going to go get that and get the drills and everything and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is a partial diamond painting that I have from New Frog, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use the, this jobby, the, I believe it's called a diamond painting ruler, um, on here. So let's move down a little bit. There we go. Now my my painting is a bit kind of uh, creased from shipping, so that's why it's not sticking onto it. But that's okay, it should be fine. Now let's take out our numbers. So I'll start with number one. A little tray there. And we'll place on. So <laughs> Luna's sitting in my chair right now. Luna's my, my dog. Let's see if this works now. It's really interesting. They fit right into the hole. It definitely feels faster. Let's see. I might try using the multi-placer. Sorry if my hand's in the way. I'm actually concentrating on the on the beads themselves instead of looking in the camera. Here we go. Okay, that worked. Let's try it again. Sweet. Let me finish up this number. Okay, and pull this up. Nice. So as you can see, that does work. That's pretty interesting. Let's see if we can place it back down. One second there. Okay, let's see. Can I put it back down on top? I'm trying to put it down on top of the diamonds, but I can't. So once you peel it off, you can't put it back on. So let's try this one. 
that lined up? Could be better. Okay, here we go. So I've got it there on the edge of this row, and that's why it's curved, so that the other row will fit. So I suppose that means that you would have to fill in the whole section before lifting it off. So if you don't go one little section at a time, that could be a little bit difficult. So, Luna, please. Thank you. So what you'd have to do is go from just one color and then open another container and do that color and fill in the whole, the whole section or job at a time. You can see that they're on the line. They're quite exact in their placement. So I'm, I'm happy with that. This is a neat little tool uh, I could recommend to people who have trouble placing diamonds or want to make sure that they are perfectly exact. Um, I'm sure this would work on a full painting as well. It's just peeling it up that you'd have to be careful. Maybe you could use tweezers or something to pull that up off of the sticky bits of the canvas. But yeah, it's a new, it's a new tool out there, new to me anyway. And um, I would recommend if you want to see more about this, I'm really interested to see what Mrs. Crochet and Coffee has said about this. So I'm going to go over and watch her video now um, and play with this a bit more. Um, and if you'd like to purchase this, the link will be in the description. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care guys. Bye.